Hello everyone. I'm Sai Priya, a senior cloud engineer from the innovation team. Today, we are going to talk about deploying an application onto WebLogic server for OKE using Jenkins. Here is the Notion architecture. By using the Oracle WebLogic server for OKE using the marketplace stack, we should be able to quickly deploy an Oracle WebLogic server domain in the Kubernetes cluster. Integrate with the Jenkins controller configured for the CI/CD pipeline jobs for WebLogic server operations. The OKE cluster is deployed in the private subnet with two node pools. The user will use the Bastion host to connect to the admin host deployed in the private subnet. A private load balancer is configured to access the Jenkins console and Oracle WebLogic server administrative console. The admin host can help you easily access the OKE cluster and the logs of the WebLogic server domain, Jenkins home configuration, helper scripts to manage your domain, and file storage service. Now, let's watch the step-by-step -step process. Select the human icon on the top right and select your profile in the Oracle Cloud Console. Now, create an auth token or use an existing token. Go ahead and create a vault. Here, I have already created a vault with the protection mode as software and encrypted with AES algorithm. We can switch to the secrets and add the OCI token as a secret. The next step is to launch a WebLogic OKE stack. Go to OCI Marketplace and look up for WebLogic OKE. Select the version of OKE and launch the stack. Under the stack information, enter the stack name. Click Next to configure the variables. Now, enter the resource name prefix. This prefix will be used by all the resources that are created when you create a stack. Upload the SSH key. Create a new VCN. Leave other configuration as is. Select any availability domain. Update the username to access the OCIR. Select the auth token compartment and then select the validated secret for OCAR from the vault we created in the previous step. Click Next. Review the changes and click Create. The resources now gets provisioned. You can take a look at the logs that are being generated and the outputs which contain the details about the public IP of the Bastion host, OKE cluster name and all the necessary information for you to access the Jenkins console. Notice that WebLogic OKE instance was launched in your compartment with a given prefix name. It contains node pools. Go ahead and check out the nodes and its details. You can also check out the private load balancer which was also been provisioned using the stack. Let's try connecting to the Jenkins console. From your computer, open an SSH tunnel to use the dynamic port forwarding to an unused port on the Bastion compute instance. Connect as the OPC user and provide the path to the private key that corresponds to the public key that you specified when you created the stack. You can go ahead and type in yes if you want to continue connecting. The tunnel is now established. Now, open the Firefox browser. Set up the SOX version 5 proxy configuration. Specify the local computer and the same SOX port that you used in your SSH command. Switch to the OCI console and copy the load balancer's private IP. Now type in the load balancer's IP followed by slash Jenkins in the Firefox browser. You will now create the first admin user. Enter the username, password, confirm the password and also type in your full name and email address. Go ahead and click create to create your first admin user. The next step is to create a domain. Enter the domain name and update the admin username and password. Here, I will be giving the username as WebLogic and going to enter my own password. I will also check the patch automatically to install the latest patches available in the patching repository. Enter the node pool name and update the node count as two. Then, we will go ahead and then select the node pool shape as e4flex and leave the rest of the configuration as is. I will go ahead and hit the build now button. The pre-check is performed, followed by node pool configuration 
and then OKE configuration and finally ingress configuration. Go ahead and verify the logs. The next step is to update the domain. I'm going to create a folder called as WLS deploy and create a subfolder for applications. In that, I've added four WAR file packages. I'm going to zip the WLS deploy folder and upload it onto object storage. I also created a YAML file with an application deployments, which is like a blueprint of all the deployments. If I remove the application from the YAML file, it automatically deletes from the deployments in WebLogic. We will now go ahead and initiate the process of updating the domain. Select the deployment pipeline and then select build parameters. Pick the domain you just created and add the object storage URL of the YAML file in the domain model source and the archived WLS deploy folder in the archive source. Ensure that the rollback on failure is checked and hit the build button. The pre-check, build domain, and backup and deploy domain steps has successfully completed. As a final step, let's verify the deployment. Log into the WebLogic console and switch to the deployments tab. You will notice that there are four applications that are deployed successfully. Let's pick sample web application. Switch to the testing tab, copy the URL, and replace the domain name with the public load balancer IP address which was just created. The application is deployed successfully.